like what the difference is between the oh, player between the slots ports? is. So like, uh, in PM, I'll just give you what it does for Sneak, since he's yeah. gonna be 4th player. If, if they both get hit by a move that can hurt both of them, and uh -huh. they're gonna grab, uh, then Snake will not take knockback if he's in fourth player. Okay, so, so it's so priority. If he, if, he puts that, if he holds a grenade, drops it, and, she, and grabs you, and then it hits you both, uh, then only only Portal's gonna take the, the knockback. Okay. They're both gonna take damage, but only Portal's gonna take knockback. All right. Aside from a few other things, uh, there's there's some other stuff that goes into it, but that's like the big one you're probably gonna see. Yeah. Um, past that, it's, it's just general port priority. Uh, you win grabs, etc. So, okay. Does that carry on into other games, or is that just it's, a PM it's mechanic? It's been in every game since uh, since 64, but 64 had some weird stuff, so. Okay. But Melee definitely had it, but it was kind of backwards. First player was the one you wanted. Usually. Gotcha. So I didn't that, think, um, so oh, that was something, so beautiful something you saw right there. That's, that's something that, that we basically call the messy at this point. Uh -huh. um, he just, he offstage will, he'll, he'll drop, uh -huh. a, drop a C4, blow himself up, and tech the stage. Okay. We call it the messy or the duelist. Okay. Uh, oh, oh my, god. my god. We call it the duelist because there was a, a, a side event in a Brawl that was actually based on Snake blowing himself up and teching the wall. Uh -huh. uh, hard to explain on stream, but yeah. But definitely, ooh, that sounds bro. Oh. Jesus. Well, it's good he's got that. Like, he's got to make up for that stock he lost. I mean, he got him to 260 with no issues. Yeah. Lands Problem right is, he point. got him to 260 and didn't actually kill him. Exactly. Yep. Like, in this game, with, like, Smash 4, you're going to get them to 264 and you can just jab them and they'll die. But with this, like, you, you have to get that kill early because there are so many opportunities for you to just lose it. Mm, absolutely. And this is, like, this is a really interesting matchup. I actually, when I played PM a bit more frequently, I main Squirtle, and it was a very fun character, and Snake was one of those characters I kind of wanted to keep in my pocket, because I saw a couple of the people uh, playing it at school, and he was just so interesting. Yeah, Snake, Snake has a lot of options. He also has a really a really interesting toolkit uh, in his belt. Mm-hmm. Where you... What is that? Oh. Okay, I need to focus on the match. That is beautiful, though. That's very nice. Um, so For those we've of got you a, who can't see it, it's, it's a new stream overlay. It's fine. We'll do it later. Um, so back to the match. We've got a uh, we've got Holy Nugs at high percent. Oh, switch the names. Switch the names. Switch the names. They're wrong. Messi is a uh, <laughs> is snake. I know it's on his tag, so it's fine. But switch. Them. Switch. Them. Oh my. Switch them. Perfect. This snake is. Right. Oh, we went for the work. balloon. That's how we do it. Oh. So uh, Messi is up in balloons unless I missed something. And that's <laughs> no, what, that's I think he's doing here. good. He's that got like, here, man. good control of the oh, stage. Oh, he's gonna walk he's him right in the mind. Oh my god. This snake is on point. So I've seen him do beautiful Messi's, wave dashes Messi's and shit. Messi's usually one of the best. He's probably the best snake in Colorado. Oh, uh, very nice. He's, he's on the PR. I think he's fourth. I could be wrong on that. Uh, he's really good. That's all I know. He's really good. That's so. really nice. And he's got the Pimp and Cheetah print on right now. That's he'll, really he'll cool. He'll switch between matches, though. He'll go Big Boss. He'll oh, go, uh, Big he'll Boss. Go big. I dig yeah, it. He's fourth on the PR. I was right. Um, Messi, known as one of our better Brawl players, too. So he's he's got nice. really interesting Brawl tech in this game. I didn't uh, think there was actually a scene for Brawl, to well, be honest. Well, not anymore. But okay. back when Brawl was still uh, really active in Colorado, he was uh, first or second in the state at all times. Gotcha. Yeah, and this, uh, this Squirtle is very interesting. I saw him playing a bit earlier, and uh, being a Squirtle main but not being terribly good at the game myself, I wanted to see if I could get some tips from him. Oh! And actually seeing him in action now, like... But it's messy. Not uh, too much not is too much. different from not what I played. Yeah, no, uh, Holy Nox is a really good Squirtle. He, uh, he's normally known for his melee play. He hasn't really uh -huh. played this game very much. Yeah. But he picked it up one day, tried Fox, didn't like him, so he plays in melee, and then switched to Squirtle, and then he's been wrecking people ever since. Oh, uh, but that oh. line's gonna send him off the top. That's 1 0 for uh, Messi. That's neat. And right now, Messi's actually the, the favorite to win this match. He's higher on the PR. Well, and, uh, seeing he's, how he's playing, that's really interesting. Yeah, no, he's, he's higher on the PR. He's, he's generally places better in PM tournaments. Yeah. Um, and it's just. Snake's a really good character in this game, uh, especially when you play him like Messi does, where you zone people out and then oh, get your sure. sticks. He like, actually didn't get too many sticks in that match. You can actually stick people with your C4 in this game, yeah, and then uh, blow them up. And if you if you combo into it, it goes off the top. Yeah, and it's a really good um, good way to set that up is using your side B because in PM it was switched to a uh, what is it a sleep dart? Uh, a sleep dart. Yeah, yeah. A gun. 
And yeah. so you put your opponent to sleep, and then you just run up, push the C4 onto them, and then just grab them, knock them up with an up throw, and then bam, they're gone. And that's, and that's a really interesting thing that I like about Snake, is that little combo there. Absolutely. It's going to be really hard, though, with Squirtle. That side B is going to keep them. It's got a bit of an armor state on it, so actually the sleep darts will not work very effectively on him until he's about out of it. And even then, like, he's a short character, so it's going to be tough to tech it. Yeah, and you, you can could see, see right holy, there. Well, so what he did there was he jumped. Yeah, he jumped. So, it won't put you to sleep if you're in the air. It'll just so, hit you. Yeah, so the way to beat it is just jump. But you see, he missed it there, so he's going to oh, die I here. Oh, I saw it. Yep. Yeah, he, he got it. He missed jump, so he hit him with a side B, stuck him, and then down tilt, down B. It's guaranteed. Nothing you can really do oh, about it. Oh, my goodness. It's fast enough that it's a combo with that percent. You can't really do much about it. Oh, he's just inching him into his palm. It didn't work, though. <laughs> All right, you can see Messi putting on the pressure. Something you're gonna see from Messi a lot. When he's on shield, he's gonna down her out of shield if he thinks he can get it or can't get the grab. Yeah. Um, and then you're gonna see up B uh, out of shield or up B on, on shield. Mm -hmm. uh, because it gives him a really interesting way to mix up the shield pressure. Yeah. And also it'll combo into pretty much any of his aerials. Yeah, it's a really good move, especially in PM, because they changed it. Because what would happen in Brawl was uh, Snake had nothing to protect him in his up B, so he could be grabbed up of his up B on, like, the edge, and then when he came back from it, he would just not have his up B from that. So you could just grab him, let the grab release itself, and then Snake loses the stock right there. Absolutely. What they added into PM was he's got a bit of, like, a sparkly force field now, and that it will actually damage people, so he can use that up B out of shield to kind of knock them into the air, and that's how it sets up for their aerials. Absolutely. And I'm loving the way- Oh my god! Way. He threw that right Was up that there. A I have to go run an NTO or something really quick. Oh my goodness. So we are losing Joe for a moment. We're gaining Dan Aki though, so that's pretty good. Another one of our good players here, another one of our uh, tournament officials. He's very nice and we enjoy having him here. Oh, that's a nice little softball. Oh my goodness, just make it, forcing him to run into his own mind. Right? Like, in terms of your question, uh, can Squirtle duck on their snake's grab? I'm not sure. I don't believe so just because of how big his uh, grab box is. Under snake's grab? Correct. Um, I don't think so, because uh, something you guys might notice is when he goes for a grab, there's sort of like an arc around uh, right in front of him. I believe that is his grab range. I think Squirtle might be able to just because he's a small character and he's just really tiny, but I believe uh, as long as it hits the arc when he grabs, it's his grab range. Oh, that's the stock. That he that was interesting because he tried to force Snake into his own mind and unfortunately it kind of backfired on him. At this point, uh, Messi still is able to bring this back. Messi is known for his long string of combos that's all from zero to roughly around 70-80%. Uh, hopefully, oh, maybe? No, that's no, game. never mind. That is going to be that's one, one. into... This is enough. interesting, especially that game. There was a lot of shield pressure from both sides. And I'm very impressed with how both of these players are doing. I'm especially interested at, like, the speed of Snake's wave dashing. I haven't really seen that kind of speed from other characters before when they use their wave dash, and it's getting him very far across the stage. And that's probably helping uh, with his zoning, and it's very on point right now. What Messi likes to do is actually dock his up smash. That gets uh -huh. him uh, ultimately across the stage. It also provides a little uh, shelter for the road. Yeah. Just because if he gets punished for it, that mortar is coming down on your head once again. Oh, going yeah. to Pokemon Stadium 2. Oh, we're with going with somewhat classic Somewhat of a uh, low ceiling. We're going to see if this works out for uh, Messi in his favor. That also has a longer blast range. Yeah, I wonder who... Uh whose pick this was, because, uh, not to be cheesy or anything, but this is, like, it was Messi's for uh, Squirtle. Pick. It was Messi's pick? It is okay. Messi's counter Right, because yes. he was the, he was the loser for that. Maybe he's, uh, trying to poetically beat the heck out of Squirtle on his own turf. But one thing that Holy Nugs oh is doing goodness. that is disrupting Snake is that he's not allowing him to do, get uh, complete stage control. Yeah, not allowed he is. to do mines, grenades, or even C4s. 
That was a beautiful ledge guard by Squirtle. Oh, oh he's got the glasses. Oh, uh, they're gone. Fine. Squirtle Squad isn't coming to save this guy. This is really interesting because it was a very solid game one for Messi, but now this Squirtle's starting to download him and is getting really, oh, he just knocked himself into Snake's mind again. Half this is, commentators curse this is really unfortunate for Squirtle because I understand what he's going for. He's trying to force Messi's zoning to kind of screw him over, but it's backfiring. Like, is it not working out for him too well? Like, even with all the spacing he's doing that's working against Messi, there's always that mind that he's missing, and he's hitting it himself. That kind of sets him back, but it looks like he's taking it back with all the percentage he's putting onto him. Onto Messi, that is. Oh, almost jumped onto it. See, this is one of the things I love about Snake, is there are just bombs everywhere. Yeah, unfortunately, when Squirtle does get in the air, Snake is able to gain back that stage control. You yeah. see him zoning it out. Oh, there he goes. zoning right into that mine. He is going to be able to plant another one here. Let's see if uh, he actually does. He actually yeah. opts out not to. Let's see how much this combo string does. Only got a, uh, a oh, little bit there of you 30. Go. So we're pretty much back to even Man, thought. And he's got the glasses. Opting in for those communal glasses once again. And, and there they go. they're Scanner. gone as soon as they come out. Oh, this is interesting, though. I really like, uh, I oh. noticed that they made Snake's Mines purple like the landmines were, which is uh, probably due to the fact that before this most recent update, Snake's Mines were really difficult to see, which would have made it, like, an even more difficult matchup for uh, Kalen Holly? Holinotes? Yeah. It would have been yeah, it just... It was a lot harder to see yeah, it was a lot harder. the previous version. But right now, uh, Messi with a commanding lead on this. Um, wondering if Herb does is going to be able to take this back. He has been all over Snake. Uh, turtles do eat Snake, uh, believe it or not. Sometimes. Some turtles. Some uh, snakes. Snappy turtles. Yeah. Could be a snappy turtle, but this is a uh, squirrel turtle. So we'll see if this if it is going to be able to eat Snake. Yeah, no, actually, um, a closer uh, member of the... <laughs> turtle family to the snapping turtle for this would probably be uh Torkoal. oh my goodness oh that getting was both good. of them uh herb actually trying to go down and sticky himself so that way snake wouldn't survive mm. oh pretty good see i i'm pretty sure messi's got this in the bag it doesn't matter if he takes this second stock he's at kill percent and another thing, oh my god, 200%. Yeah. Messi is known for making the spectacular uh, recoveries, even at, uh, even at very high percentages. It's actually a lot easier to uh, attack against walls when you're at oh. high percentage. And that is going to be the round. That was, Messi will take the game. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Interesting thing, um, uh, you noticed that he was kind of moving around when Arcana. he had him grab. 